Welcome to the Trill NBA Show. I'm your host, Felicia Ann Rose Anuha, aka the truest NBA you will ever know. And I'm here to help you survive and thrive in corporate America by giving you the truth and being as real as only I can be. Happy Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I would normally say happy Sunday, but ain't nothing happy at this moment. James Baldwin said it best. To be black and conscious in America is to be in a constant state of rage. I try to remind myself to breathe. Because sometimes, like, I'm clenching my jaw, I'm holding my breath. And internally, I'm so hurt and angry. But I'm still on these teams' calls. And I'm still collecting this direct deposit every other week. And I know that for many of us, the silence right now... It is deafening. It is just, I'm just angry. So I wanted to take this episode and I wanted to talk through some perspective and some coping mechanisms because expecting them folks to recognize our humanity and our collective pain, that just ain't gonna happen. Not in any real or meaningful way, right? So let's talk about how you gonna get through this silence. So step one, Unfortunately, y'all, we got to check our expectations. Last summer, after George Floyd was killed, the whole world broke out into the streets. A collective cry, a desperate plea for change. So you got to understand, the only reason companies responded is because they didn't want a collective boycott formed against they stupid little ass products that we are buying. They didn't want to fuck up their money, okay? So let's be clear. Michael Jackson, he sung it best. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. And as painful as that is, And as much as we don't want that to be true, it's true. They don't care. The only thing they care about, the only concern for these companies, and the only reason why they even talk about employee wellness, and they seem to care about employee well-being, is that they need us to do our work. The more work we do, the more money they make. They don't care about us for real. And if anyone tries to tell you any different, just know, trust, understand, and believe they are lying to you, okay? They are placating you. They are not paid to care about us. And they don't really care about us. It sounds nice. It feels good. Because it feels really shitty to say, Ashley, we don't give a fuck about y'all. Y'all just need to do y'all work. But look at the actions. Actions speak louder than words. Right? And so the actions are... Silence. We don't know what to say. Because that's really, we don't know what to say to have you not be mad and to have you come to work and do your work. Like that's 
why the silence. This is the world they created. And this is the world that we must survive in. So the faster you let go of how the working world should be and accept the way the working world is today, right now, then the faster you can get focused on what is most important. And that is you, okay? So now after the break and for the rest of this episode, I'm going to break down the tactical things you need to do to focus on your best possible outcomes for your career when we get back. The Trill MBA show is happy to announce a partnership with a fantastic organization named Juno. Juno uses the power of group buying to help people get lower interest rates on new student loans and student loan refinancing. So if you're like me and you got a bunch of student loans and the interest rate is high, Juno can help you get lower interest rates so you can pay off your student loans faster. Listen, I am so excited about this. Why? Because Juno is completely free. It is a free resource. You have no obligation to take the offered deals. Juno gives power back to us, the borrowers, and allows us to take ownership of our financial future. I am so excited about this partnership and the process to becoming a member is simple and it only takes two minutes. So check out the link in the show notes to learn more and get lower interest rates on your student loans, y'all. Let's save this money, okay? Now back to the show. Welcome back from the break. So I don't know about y'all, but for me, it takes a lot. I mean, you have no idea. Because you already be frustrated, right? And then somebody say something real dumb. And you just... Perfect. Perfect. And so what I have learned the hard way, and I really fight to do, is I fight to show up and check my feelings before I hit join meeting on the team's calls. And even if you're back in person or you're preparing to go back and look at these mofos in person, like you really have to work to show up and check your feelings before you engage. Listen, the perception of emotional EQ and leadership skills is rooted in the ability to stay even keel in temperament and display of emotion, right? So you can display positive emotions, not too much though. Got to know how to temper everything, how to stay even kill. Nothing gets you too, too excited. Nothing gets you really, really angry. You are a steady rock of leadership. That is what you have to show up, that you can stay cool under fire. And so that means that even though you and I have every right to want to curse these mofos out, burn down all these MFM buildings with some of them people inside, we can't. Not if we want to see our best possible outcome for the career journey we're on right now. We got to stay focused. We got to keep it together in front of the people. We are here to collect these checks. Okay. Despite all the shit that's going on around us. Is this painful? Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> this is a painful truth. Does this feel bad? Does it feel like we're being devalued? 
Yes, absolutely. <laughs> is this how the game is played? Yes, <laughs> this is how you play the game. Is any of this right or okay? Hell no, this shit ain't right. And none of this shit right. But guess what? You not crazy. Point blank period. You are not crazy. Ain't nothing about none of this right. But remember, you're not here to be right. You are here to get as much as you can get to your benefit that you can get for you. That's what you're here for. And in exchange for your time and work, you help make them more money. But also you're gaining skills and experience that you can use to your advantage. Stay focused. Remember, these people ain't your little friends. No matter how much they perform and pretend or try to be, So if you have control over your facial expressions, turn your camera on, be as engaged as you can be right now and do what Dale Carnegie told you to do. Smile. When we get back from the break, I'm going to talk about what you can do or what you need to do if you just need to keep your camera off (laughs) when we get back from the break. All right. So as y'all heard, Chris put me on blast the last episode of season four and pretty much said, you going to ask these people for help and you going to start this Patreon. So I started a Patreon page, working on additional content. Go on over to patreon.com slash Trillinbia show and become a patron and help us make more dope content to help us survive and thrive in corporate America. So now, guys. Do not react. That is the most important thing. There are going to be some people that push your buttons for sure. Don't let the devil use them to get to you, okay? Because the devil going to use these people to get to us. Trust and believe. (laughs) Like, it is ridiculous. They're going to be talking about The Bachelor and shit. They're going to say some real foul shit. They're going to ask you questions. You know, some real fucked up, dumb fucking questions. They're going to ask. So, for right now, let's do some role playing, okay? So, picture it. We're going to stay in the land of work from home because it's, <laughs> y'all know, still a fucking pandemic. <sighs> so, picture it. Chit chat before the meeting. You know, the most egregious time of the meeting where they get on your last oh, nerve. Yes, yeah, that part. In comes Becky into the team's meeting. Hi, everybody. There's a lot happening. Oh, my goodness. Did you see the news about The Bachelor? Oh, MG. Blah, 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 blah. And blah, 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 blah. You. Flick your camera on and off as if you are having technical difficulties. Then you put your microphone on and say, hey guys, I'm having some trouble. Give me one second. And then you go away. And they still, blah, blah, oh my God. ah, 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 ah." If that hasn't disrupted, they still talking. Then come in full force. Hey guys. Woo. Okay. I figured it out. I'm back. All right. We can get started. So Becky, you're going to give us that update about Project MYZ? Break that shit up. (laughs) Use the technology to break up the little chit chat shit that you ain't got time for. And you do it just as sweet as pie. Oh, I'm so glad I could get it to work. All right, guys. 
So we five minutes in. Okay, let's get started. Da, la, la, la. Yeah, do that shit. Fuck them. Keep it business focused. Okay? Don't let them people waste your time with their bullshit about everything else happening, about their little funky kids, about their schools and, and will my kid go to school? But everybody having them problems, girl. Don't nobody want to hear that right now. It's people out here dying. And you worried about your kid getting back into school because you need a break. We all need a break. And in fact, I need a break from your ass. Okay? Okay. So, let's get started. Tactic two. This one really gets me up. This is when somebody says some real stupid shit to him. Because, you know, they likes to talk. And it can catch you off guard. Remember, always be prepared for crazy, dumb statements and questions. Let's picture it, Bob. Well-meaning, racist Bob. Hey, Felicia, how's it going? Oh, Bob, I'm doing, you know, hanging in here as best I can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, glad we can connect today. Yeah! You know, there's so much crazy stuff going on right now. I mean, like, I just don't understand. And, and like, it just seems like if you just do what the cops tell you to do, then none of this stuff will be happening. Like, I just don't understand. And everybody's so angry. And, like, they're burning buildings and rioting and things. Like, why do they have to burn the buildings? Well, Bob, I can tell you right now that um, the finance report that I'm going to need in two weeks yeah, Tim said that we needed to make sure we ran that by him first. So I'm wondering when you're going to have that first draft ready because I'm going to need to run that by Tim. And then you just sit there in silence. Oh, oh, because see, he'll get the hint like you ain't for that fuck shit. You're not going to engage. And see, you ain't said nothing wrong. You ain't said nothing me. You were very positive about it, but you legit switch the subject and that is perfectly okay you keep your peace of mind you do not have to engage in these conversations that are detrimental to your mental health and safety okay change the subject keep it business focused that is the key takeaway bring it back to business don't let them fluster you don't show any real emotion. Just keep reminding yourself to show your teeth. You just keep saying it to yourself over and over again. Show your teeth. Show your teeth. Just pull your upper lip up and show those upper teeth. Try it. It looks like you're smiling, even if you're not, because you're just pulling up your upper lip and you're showing your teeth. See, I even sound smilier because I'm showing my teeth right now. It's all it takes. And what Becky gonna say? She's smiling at me. That's, again, everybody gonna look at her like she crazy. And that's what you want. Everybody looking at them crazy and not you. Okay? Listen, guys. All I know to do <laughs> is survive. I don't know how to thrive in this space where it feels like people who look like me can't even survive. So I don't have answers. <laughs> I don't have the answer to let our lives matter and care about us as humans and treat us with some dignity and respect. I don't know how to make people do that. But I can tell you for sure is that you got this. And you know how I know you got this? And I got this because I believe in the higher power, God, whatever you want to call it, universe. 
I believe that that power, that power has us. Despite all of the crap that we're seeing in the world, all of the things happening to us, I may not understand the whys, but I know that somehow it's gonna be okay. So I want you guys to stay strong. Don't lose your jobs by cussing out folks that deserve to be cussed out. Stay diligent. And if you have a work situation that you need help or advice with, hit me up at trillmba.com slash coaching and schedule a 45 minute consultation with me to strategize and walk through your specific work situation. In addition to that, you can always email me at ask at trillmba.com. I'm happy to either answer your question or connect you to the right person if I don't have the answer. Again, that's trillmba.com slash coaching to schedule a 30 minute consultation with me or go to ask at trillmba.com to submit your question or concern. I love you guys. I appreciate all of your notes and it really, really, really fills my heart when people send me messages saying that this podcast is helping them because there are so many forces that are not helping us. And if I can be a force that does, then hell, maybe I'll get into heaven with my potty mouth, y'all. I don't know. But anyway, I love y'all. And until next time, keep it trill. The Trill NBA Show is a Fair World Corp. LLC production. Executive produced by Felicia and Rose Inuha. Sound design and editing by Chris Mann with Pod Shaper. Theme music is Kick Push by Ryan Little. Keep it trill every day, y'all. <laughs>